Hello Year 8, I'm Mr. Shabir and I'm here to give you online lessons and I'll be using Google Classrooms and I will be using some videos to help you understand the class that I'll be giving. Um, all the information that I'm going to give to you now, which is on the board, um, you will have in Google Classroom as well. Um, so the point of this video is just to ensure that you understand the task um, correctly. Now obviously if there's any other help that you need, you can always contact me through Google Classroom and I'll be happy to support you. Um, times are between 8.15 and 1pm. Um, I hope you all are keeping safe and healthy. Right. So just a quick video on what you need to be doing today, the task. The task, and obviously our project was about Maori art um, and we were creating our face tattoos. Obviously we can't do that because you are at home and your masks and um, equipment is at school. So we're going to kind of pause that and we're going to move on to the next step, which is Aboriginal art. Okay, so the task today um, you're going to be learning about ab Aboriginal art and designing an Aboriginal art research page. So that is pretty much the task at hand, that research page that you'll be designing. The key questions in your research page are on this slide, uh, which you will have access to. Um, describe, um, describe Aboriginal art. Uh, what does Indigenous mean? Um, what was the dream time period? And why do Aboriginal paintings have dots? So during your in your research page, all this information should be clear. So I can see that you've got full understanding of that. Okay, so um, in my slides, I've been really kind enough to um, put the answers or the information in there for me. So one second. Okay, so if you just go through the slides, you'll be able to see the answers that you need to be putting up. So, Aboriginal people, also known as the Indigenous people, are native Australians. Indi indigenous means native to a place. So I'll just quickly um, describe that. So, a Qatari would be indigenous to Qatar because that is where um, that Qatari was born. An Egyptian would be indigenous to Egypt. Okay, so indigenous basically means where the person um, was native to. Okay, where they were born, where they live. Okay. Um, so there's some information in here that answers the questions that you need to include into your research page. Um, there are some examples of um, why they use dots in their design. There's some example artwork on there for you to help you with your research page. Um, they also they also talked about what they use, what materials. So we use a lot of paper. Um, they used graving rock art, design in sand, so they use different types of material to um, display their work of art. Okay, um, this is quite an interesting slide as well. Um, traditionally, the Aborigines use natural pigments or natural colours, such as ochre to paint with. So we used, when we paint, we use um, coloured pencils, and they didn't have um, that equipment or those tools at that time, so they used different rocks. Um, that have different colours on them. So if they wanted to use um, red, they just use a red rock. If they wanted to use white, they use white rock. That's how they include the different colours um, in their artwork. Okay, here's another um, slide with some symbols on there. Um, we have different symbols meaning different things. Similar to Maori, so Maori um, tattoo designs meant something. So the Aborigines, Aborigines they use different symbols to represent different things. I want you to have a look at this slide to see um, if there's any type of story that you might want to tell in your art design um, when you create that in your research page. And this is a very important slide. Um, this is basically a, a tick up slide or criteria that you need to follow. So number one um, is you need to ensure that you create a creative title. Um, so not just a boring Aboriginal um, art title. You need to have some colour and maybe a different style to it. Maybe you can use the dot technique that they uh, that the Aborigines use. Um, you're going to describe the work. So this is the information that you're going to put on there as well. What materials are used? Um, how have they made the artwork? Is it sculpted, painted, printed on textiles? What materials do they use? What are they inspired by? Uh, describe the colour shapes. Um, also that first slide, or the second slide, where you had the questions, the key questions, those need to be answered in the research page as well. 
um, choose your favorite and most interesting piece to draw and color. So you can um, research online and see an um, example of Aboriginal art and you can copy that design onto your research page. I want to maybe choose, I want maybe two or three designs um, that you've chosen. And then at the end, you give your final opinion about Aboriginal art. What do you think about it? Do you like it? What part do you like? Um, what do you think inspires it? Any opinions that you have. Remember, this is not really, can't really go wrong, apart from if you don't write much. Okay, remember, you're giving your own opinion on that. So here are some examples of what I expect from you, standards. Okay, so I'll give you some examples just so you understand what I'm looking for. Okay, here's some more student work that they've done. Okay, and here's some examples of animals that you might want to include um, in your research page as well. As I said, if there are any questions, please contact me on Google Classrooms and I'm here to help. Um, so hopefully um, that has made sense. If it hasn't, go through the slides and then after going through the slides, if you still don't understand, then just drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to help. Alright guys, uh, see you soon.